I want to thank everybody for joining in our presentation for Practical Software Solutions. Hope you're having a great day. Today our focus is going to be on the, the digital takeoff and also take a look at uh, BIM integration. So our 2D and 3D concept, uh, basically 2D plus 3D plus SAGE estimating equals 5D which, of course, we all know is cost estimating. Uh, we're going to start off by taking a look at the uh, the 2D digital takeoff. It's called e-takeoff. It is a seamless integration with our Sage estimated solution. So let's go ahead and dive in and, and take a look at what the solution can bring to the table for you, how it can streamline your process and then create some efficiency and also reduce errors as far as moving quantities around manually from one application to the next. Won't have to do that any longer with the e-takeoff and the bridge application. So out of the gate, looking at the e-takeoff, a couple things that you need to know. Reads PDFs in their native format. So rather than having to convert those files to a TIFF, what we can do is bring those in and it will load those up in a matter of seconds. The other thing is it is a multi-user environment, and this multi-user environment will let as many individuals uh, attack the same page at the same time. So it could be two, three, five people in your estimating department that need to do a takeoff on this uh, particular plan set. Very easily, they can all be on this one plan set or this one page at the same time. And we have an audit trail that will tra track all of the items that they've taken off. With that, as you can see, we have a Microsoft ribbon up here. And this ribbon, of course, exposes the functionalities, the features of the solution right on the toolbar here. So rather than having to go into a drop-down menu, what you'll see is all of the functionalities, the feature right there for you. By the way, the help is just a hover away. It gives you the opportunity to see any help for the system and the shortcut keys on how to maneuver, navigate through the system, taking advantage of the shortcut keys and uh, your keyboard. So everything that I'm doing today, of course, is with a mouse and your keyboard that you're looking at or I'm working with anyway. The other thing is, is real estate is a big thing when it comes to uh, working on the screen. You want to see as much of the plan as you, you want. So I can minimize that ribbon and work with our quick access toolbar here. All of these, these particular icons represent functionality in the system that you can make specific to each individual in your organization. So everybody may use the keyboard in a different manner. So I may want to customize my shortcut keys the way that I need to work with them. Very easily done within the system. I like to do my presentations, keep that open and exposed right there. Now, next, when we look at the panels that are on both sides of uh, the solution, once again, real estate is at a premium. When we want to look at those plans, we want to be able to see those readily. We'll move these panels to another screen so that they're not taking up space on your main screen. Easy to do and easy to conform these panels to what you want them to be. Each panel uh, presides, uh, uh, has a certain functionality that you can uh, modify, tailor it to your needs. So let's go ahead and start off with some basic takeoff. As you'd expect, area count, length, and perimeter are some functions that we have within the system. And then we'll get a little bit uh, more into the advanced features and show you how the, the, you can grow within the system. And that's what we want to do is give you a growth path where we start with the basic functionality, but then give you more and more uh, capability as we go along. And starting off, we'll, we'll do an area and do a quick takeoff for that area. I'll just go ahead and hit the four corners of this particular room right there. Now we want to increase your speed, your efficiency, so we very easily can go to two corner takeoffs or like on this particular plan, what we can do is switch this so we can copy this. Look at this, it's right down here. We need to do the takeoff for that as well. Very simply, take that and place that down below right here. 
Think of it as when you have multiple stories and you've taken off one floor. Once you've taken off one and if they're all exactly the same with some minor modifications, we can easily change those takeoffs specific to that floor. Easy to do. So let's select these. And of course, we don't live in a square world, right? We have to maneuver around corners and everything else. So when we look at this takeoff right here, let's say that we were taking off the tile or getting the area for the tile around this pool or the flooring, whatever it may be. And of course, we don't want to take off the pool, so we can remove that pool from that takeoff. Very easily going around that corner, and all I'm doing is hitting the C key, which is a shortcut key on your keyboard, and conforming that to those particular corners. Now, probably you'd need to take off that particular area inside of that. Well, in this case, what we can do is we can change that cutout to any one of the traces that we have. And we'll talk a little bit more about traces as we get into this. In this case, I'll just call it flooring. And now we've filled in that cutout very simply, very easily. So basic tools that are easy to get started with the program, easy for you to jump in and get it moving forward. But let's go beyond that. 